passed and the Brady Bill was passed, I remember, you know, a lot of people who were gun owners being really upset about that. And, and you know, my husband came up here and met with a lot of people and he said, well, you know, show me a deer wearing a Kevlar vest. You know, show me a deer wearing a Kevlar vest. The District of Columbia has a law, it's had a law since 1976, it's now before the United States Supreme Court, that prohibits ownership of handguns, a sawed-off shotgun, a machine gun, or a short-barreled rifle. Is that a law consistent with an individual's right to bear arms? Well, Charlie, I confess I obviously haven't listened to the briefs and looked at all the evidence. Uh, as a general principle, I believe that the Constitution uh, confers an individual right uh, to bear arms. But just because you have an individual right does not mean that the state or local government can't constrain the exercise of that right. Uh, The, I have never favored uh, all-out uh, ban on handguns. Uh, Senator Clinton, you have a home in D.C. Do you support the D.C. ban? You know, um, George, I want to give local communities the opportunity to have some um, authority over determining how to keep their citizens uh, safe. This case you're referring to before the Supreme Court is apparently dividing the Bush administration. You know, the Bush administration basically said, we don't have enough facts to know whether or not it is appropriate. And Vice President Cheney, who you know is a fourth special branch of government all unto himself, has actually filed a brief saying, oh no, we have to, uh, you know, we have to prevent D.C. from doing this. But what do you so think? Do you support well, it or not? What I support is sensible regulation that is consistent with the constitutional right to own and bear arms. Is the D.C. ban consistent well, with I think that right? That, I think a total ban with no exceptions under any circumstances might be found by the court not to be. But I don't know the facts. 